Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share John 18, 12 to 24. So the Roman cohort and the co commander and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him and led him to Annas first, for he was father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. Now Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jews that it was expedient for one man to die on behalf of the people. Simon Peter was following Jesus and so was another disciple. Now the disciples was known to the high priest and outside, so the other disciple who was known to the high priest went out and spoke to the doorkeeper and brought Peter in. Then the slave girl who kept the door said to Peter, you're not also one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the slaves and the officers were standing there having made a charcoal fire, for it was cold and they were warming themselves. And Peter was also with them standing and warming himself. The high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teaching. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I always taught in synagogues and in the temple where all the Jews come together and I spoke nothing in secret. Why do you question me? Question those who have heard what I spoke to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the officers standing nearby struck Jesus saying, Is that the way you answer the high priest? Jesus answered him, if I have spoken wrongly, testify of the wrong. But if I write it, but if rightly, why do you strike me? So Anna sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Here's my devotional. Jesus arrests and for Peter's first denial. In this account, the saga of the suffering of Jesus begins. He was arrested by the Roman officers to be presented to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest. Peter followed them and was watching what they were going to do with his master. Jesus was interrogated about his disciples and what he had been teaching them. When Peter were, was recognized by a slave girl of the high priest, he automatically denied what he was with, that he was with Jesus. What an interesting way to show his loyalty to Jesus. Self-protection is second nature to us all when we feel threatened. But is it not Jesus' requirement for his dis but it is not Jesus' requirement for his followers. We see how God loves his disciples so much and how he understands their fears and struggles. It is in this scene that soldier first struck Jesus when he answered his question. Reflection, why do we automatically protect ourselves and deny the Lord at times? <clears throat> uh, because of the fall of Adam and Eve, we become uh, defensive. We, we try to, we, we live in shame. So we want to hide what it is that we are weak about. So the first thing we do when somebody attacks us is to do and put a shield for ourselves. But that is not how God operates. God says that I am your shield, I am your protector. So denying is another way that he was protecting himself because he knew for a fact that if he was associated with Jesus, he could easily be persecuted like him. So he was protecting himself and saving his life in a way, but also it cost the, la the, the denial of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when he denied the Lord, then that was a sin because if you deny your master, that means that you are, are not really there for your master, that you're not serving your master, that you're serving yourself. So because we are sinful, all of us are sinful, we have an automatic self-protection and self um Seeking, uh, seeking to, to satisfy the self. So I encourage you to always remember the times when you automatically self-protect and not de depend on God. I encourage you to depend on the Lord because He's always there for us. He knows what's best for us. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. 
and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for you. God loves you so much and so do I and stay safe.